Okay, today we are doing a video showing the two Can-Ams here. This is, um, you, you saw in a previous video the one that I ride, which is the F3, the one sitting on the right that's considered to be orange looking to most people. They call this Can-Am Red. And the one to the left is the one that my wife rides. This is her bike. This is the uh, RT. Uh, it's not the limited edition. I forget what it is. RTS maybe. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around and uh, talk about them here. Today I'm going to try to share some things with you today about the Can-Am RT Spider. This is the S version. There's one that's uh, the limited that has the chrome wheels. These are the blacked out wheels here, as you can see. Uh, comes with some nice features. We've opened the, the trunk, the front trunk, and I'll give you a close-up look of to see what's actually involved here. But there's storage area in here that gives you space where you can put a helmet here and uh, several other different things that you would carry when you ride. This is one of actually four locations that are on the bike that give you storage area. In addition to the front storage compartment, there are also two on the side, each side, and I'll open these for you here in a second, and there's one in the back. And the way that you get to those, actually. Okay, now we are looking at the, the back of the can as, as well as um, the uh, storage capacity that I talked about. We're going to show you that now. And in order to get to that, you have to storage here and I'll bring the camera over so you can see it. Substantial storage area. And on each side. When you look at it from the back this is what it looks like and we'll go in and give you a shot of the inside. The first storage compartment. Actually pretty sizable amount of space here. Nice amount of space. That's the one. You also have a a connector here for an iPhone. This is the older, like the iPhone 2 or 3, but you buy an adapter that connects here and then you plug it into your iPhone and it will charge it. It'll play the music or anything that uh, the iPhone is capable of playing, including uh, the phone calls. They all come through this connector. So there's one there. Over here is a cigarette lighter, which gives you the ability to charge. 12 volt items there. Alright, so we close that cabinet and we'll look off on the sides here. And this is nice for several different things you may want to carry when you travel. Uh, one thing that works really, really nice is uh, you can put your helmets in there. You can carry two helmets, one on each side here as well as one in the front. If that's be, be what you would want to uh, utilize that for. So that's the one on that side grab the key don't want to leave that and there's the other one you get a, a better look at the bike here in the back passenger area you have uh, nice hand grips here for the person that rides in the back you have controls. I believe this is for uh, adjusting the sound. It comes from this, the stereo system. Kind of zoom in a little bit here so you can see it. So you can turn volumes up and down. You can uh, change channels of the stereo and so forth. On the other side, on the other side you see here are controls for the heated hand grips. 
and they are ample I mean you really get nice heat from these very nice feature to have on the now we'll take you onto the dashboard we'll get a uh, view of it from back here first and then we'll kind of go in a little bit closer and see what uh, what awaits us there nice rear view mirrors and uh, we'll like, take a look at the hand controls and I'll explain what's there this particular model has what's called a semi-automatic transmission and you'll see here this uh, control with a plus on it that is how you upshift the bike there's no clutch and on the right side there's no handbrake for the front wheel everything as far as braking is concerned is done with that brake pedal right there Oops, I always go the wrong direction that's the brake pedal and that controls all three wheels okay so as I was saying here's the uh, control that you upshift the transmission um, green thing here that says eco on it and let me try to zoom in so you can see it a little better that is a control that allows you to turn on and off a special feature of the transmission it tells you uh, basically that uh, it's time to upshift so you get going about 10 15 miles per hour there will be something that will come on on the dash uh, that points up as a little arrow and then lets you know it's time to shift so at that point you upshift on the back side you can see I'm pushing this from the rear there's a minus and that is how you downshift with this being a semi-automatic transmission it actually has the ability to uh, downshift on its own which is nice as you're slowing down it drops down to each gear as is needed um, and you can also manually downshift it's got a tremendous amount of uh, engine back pressure when it downshifts so it really aids in slowing the bike down when you when you really want some extra braking power um, this is where you set various different things that are on the dash and I'll turn it on here this is how the it uh, cycles through the startup process let me do it again so you can see it okay waiting for it to shut or turn that off on the dashboard okay all right we're turning the key on and notice how the, the gauges cycle through their little startup and then it tells you in a short second here you'll see a message pop up on the screen and it tells you we'll zoom in and see if we can get that hopefully it'll focus it says before operating read safety card above then press the mode button and what it's referring to is this card right here and it has several different things it's a checklist that has to be gone down uh, after you become accustomed to what you're supposed to do every time you get ready to ride you automatically do these things but it's good it's a good precaution uh, that should be followed every time you ride zooming back out a little bit we'll see on the left side here I'm pointing at the fuel gauge the one on the right is the temperature gauge and then in the middle we have the display that shows all the different things going on with the radio and the electronics on the bike um, the left side gauge you see the speedometer and it has a, a maximum of 200 miles per hour on the sp speedometer uh, this one over here of course is the tachometer and I'll start it so you can see and hear what this sounds like here so I'm pushing the the button now you see there's the weather's channel actually so we're going to go over here I haven't gotten to the side yet but this is the start button I'm pushing now that's the emergency shut off which most motorcycles or they all have and there it is running okay since I'm over here this is what turns on the warning flashes you can see on the car in front how they're flashing. This is the emergency shutoff here. 
This is actually a cruise control setting. Once you get up to about 25 miles per hour, and I believe if you're in fourth gear, you start it by pushing this down. That turns it on and off. When it's over there, it's on. And then you just push down, and it locks it into the speed that you're traveling at. Um, you push up to increase your speed, push down to decrease the speed, and also to start it. Okay? Um, I think we've got everything. This is the start button here. And there's a, this is um, the throttle, of course. Okay? And it has, in addition to having the normal analog tachometer, if you look in the middle there, you'll see the speed as it increases. Okay. So now we'll go into the mode setting. You push the mode button. Uh, right now it's showing that this is the volume. I can control the volume. Volume up and down. And that changes the channels. This button right here. That just goes to channel three for the weather band, down to two, and back down to one. And it's playing right there on the right side. Okay, so I keep pushing the mode button. And this is going through the various different trip settings. It's trip A, trip B. Cleveland's Cleveland's greatest hits. Cool. The Twin Spin Weekend, a guy that's got a couple of... Make it a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend from Magic 105.7. There's a lot to love with Gailey Subaru. At K-12, we believe that every child is uniquely brilliant. Here's what real K-12 teachers, students... And As I close this out and just give you a closing shot of the bike one more time here, we'll kind of walk up along the side. Both bikes are dirty. They need actually to be washed. This probably wasn't the best time to do it, but I've been wanting to do this filming, and I guess I guess I did. There's the front shot of the uh, RTS. Both bikes. Her bike towers over mine. Mine is more of a sport type or a cruiser type bike in comparison to the RTS or the RT Limited version. One final look at the F3S. Thanks for watching YouTube. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. More to come.